Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I just have a quick easy tutorial on this makeup look which is the one I was wearing in my t-shirt try on video. Several of you commented on my makeup look and said please do a tutorial. I'm sure you've done something similar but we want to see it again. <laughs> so I thankfully remembered I actually used a different palette than I normally do when I'm doing something like this and I used the Enduring Love palette. I have really enjoyed this. The two previous tutorials I've done, I'll link below, but I used more of the colorful shades in here. But today I'm dipping into some of these cooler tones. I know some of you cool tone lovers will say hallelujah. And I'm also using a new lip color. Oh my goodness. So as we get into the tutorial, if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And now let's get started. All right, so to begin our look, I applied the Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Primer. I just received this in my BoxyCharm box. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, the palette we're using is the Enduring Love palette. And while this does have kind of a light shade, it's not quite as light as I want for my brow bone. So I'm gonna go into one of my well-used palettes, if you saw my palette video, and I'm just gonna go in with the top cream shade, which is classic on my E50 from Sigma, and just put this along the brow bone. All right, let's go into this beautiful palette. Okay, we're gonna go in with this shade right here, which is Darcy. Oh, one of my favorite characters in one of my favorite movies. I'm just going to use the M504 from Morphe and put that through the crease. Now this is a pretty pigmented shade, so that's why I'm starting off first with this fluffier brush. Then I'm going to switch to a kind of slightly pinched but still fluffy brush. This is the BK Beauty 206 brush and go in with more of that shade. And now I'm going to use this just to kind of um, fill in the area from the corner down to the lash line and also just to build a little more color in this crease area. We are going to go in with a darker shade, but I like to have a good amount of shadow already in the crease. It makes it easier to blend, I think. <laughs> and I am bringing this out a little bit further than the corner of the eye because I am going to clean up, but I like to have that little bit of this kind of peachy corally shade kind of create like a halo around the edge. Okay, now we're gonna add a little bit of depth and I'm using gray, I know shock of all, right? I'm usually, usually a dark brown girl. So um, we're gonna go in with Boaz and this is really a beautiful, beautiful gray. And I am using now the BK Beauty 203, which is slightly shorter bristles. Still has a little bit of fluffiness so you can kind of blend a little bit. But as we go in with darker colors, we're reducing the size of our brush. <laughs> we can get a little more controlled application. And just tapping that right in the outer corner and I'm going to now just tap right at the base of the lashes and then bring this in towards about the middle of the lid. And this wasn't a real intense look that I did, um, but I do love just that little bit of added depth here in the outer corner. And then as I get to the crease, I'm just kind of gently tapping that brush with what's left on the bristles and then lightly sweeping it towards the center and then go back in with the 206 and blend the top edge of that. And then I'm also going to sweep a little bit more of Darcy right where kind of the end of that gray, kind of where it stops on the lid. I'm now going to just feather the edge of that. We are gonna add a shimmer shade here on the lid, but I think it just kind of helps soften the transition a little bit. 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the shimmer and then we'll address a liner. So we're gonna go in with the shade right here, which is called Devotion. And this shade, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna apply this with my fingers and just work this on the inner half of the lid. You can see all that brightness. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this shade right here, which is Romeo. And I'm going to tap this on the inner corner. We'll um, touch this up after I add concealer, but I just wanna add that little extra brightness there. Okay, on the lower lash line, I used the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in Stray Dog. I don't think they make this color, but they make a color, I think it's called Mushroom, which is really similar. But it's just a slightly warmer gray, so any gray will do. We're going to top this with a little bit of shadow, but this is going to give our shadow something to stick to. And now going in with the Morphe M. 432, I almost said 165, 432. We're gonna go in with the dark gray now. And I'm going to place this first on the lower lash line, just right up against the lashes there. And then while I have that brush out, now we're gonna address the upper lash line. So I'm gonna go in with more of Boaz. And I'm going to just press this into the lashes. And this is going to be our liner for today. And as I get here to the outer corner, I'm just turning my brush up slightly and then tapping. And I'm just tapping the shadow. You don't need to drag it. You can just press it into the lash line and then slightly sweep it. Out. And then to further soften that, I'm going to take one of my favorite brushes from the BK line. This is the 204. It is this super short, dense smudger brush. I really enjoyed this. And by the way, I do have a review coming. I'm trying some more of their brushes, so hang tight for that. But um, I'm going to now just take a little more Boaz. And I'm just very lightly going to sweep up along the edge of that liner towards the center of the lid. But I'm not taking it in very far. I'm just using this to really kind of blend that color. And also, I have a deep crease here in the corner. So just using the tip of that brush to kind of work a little bit of that gray shadow in there. And then, and then a little bit more Boaz on the 203. Add just a little bit there. And then go in with the 206 and blend the edge. And then I'm going to take with what, what's left on the brush and just sweep over the edge of those shadows and blend them into the shimmer on the lid. Then I'm gonna wipe off that little smudge brush really well and go in with a little bit of Darcy and use this below the gray liner and kind of bring this in a little bit closer past the midpoint just to soften that gray line on the lower lash line. All right, one last blend through the crease. No extra product on the brush. And I think now we're ready for mascara. Okay, as we finish up the eyes, I decided I wanted to wet my brush and just smooth out that shimmer shade so it makes it look a little smoother, a little more metallic. So I'm just taking the E60 and a little more of Devotion. So the way you do this is just load the shadow on your brush and then take your setting spray. Basically any setting spray will work. 
and then I am just going to press that over it and it just smooths out the surface ever so slightly and adds a little more shine. You can see that. And then I'm gonna go in just with my E30 pencil brush and a little more of this shade right here, Romeo. And we're gonna add that in as our inner corner highlight and then blend it into that lid shade. For cheeks, I'm gonna go in with the Sweetie Pie Bronzer. I'm so happy this has been restocked on Too Faced website. So if you've checked before, check again. And I'm gonna use the Sedona Lace 919 brush and just swirl that in. And I have just loved this bronzer. It gives the cheeks a little hint of pink, a little glow, and a slight bit of bronze. I don't know where this product has been all my life, but <laughs> I have really enjoyed this. For highlighter, in that video, I'm pretty sure this is the one I used. It's the PYT Beauty Highlighter in the shade Backstage Pass. This is a deluxe size sample that I received, but really pretty. It does remind me a bit of the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlighter, so if you have that, feel free to use that. I'm going to use my MAC 140 Fan Brush, and it's just, it's a really, this one might be a little more glowy than the Laura Mercier one, but I love it. It doesn't have any glitter particles, but really gives a nice glow to the cheeks. Going around the edge of the lips with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. For lip liner, I'm using the Becca Ultimate Lip Definer, and this is the shade Breezy. It's a really nice, neutral, kind of mid-tone nude color. Okay, and then on to one of my favorite parts of the whole look. It is this new lipstick from MAC. It is their bronze collection. And oh my goodness, I love this shade. I know, it looks like any other nude neutral shade out there, right? This one's called A La Plage, and I had to look it up. Had to have Google help me out. It means to the beach in French, and I thought that was perfect for a bronze collection, but I mean, the packaging on the whole collection is just beautiful. So I'm gonna apply the lipstick. And here's our finished look. So typically, you know I don't gravitate towards those grays and those cooler tones, but I love how it paired with that corally shade. And then that really nice shimmery pink color on the lid. It's one of my new favorite go-tos for sure with that Enduring Love palette. And then of course this lip color, it's one of my new favorites. The slight little hint of gold sheen in there, but no glitter or sparkle makes it super comfortable and still very neutral, but there's enough color there. I think that it doesn't make you look washed out, but yet will go with tons of makeup looks. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.